Hi guys, this is Dead Cell of Infected Productions and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to do um, a flashing effect so the clip goes from uh, on to off, on to off, so it's going on black, on black, on black, very very fast. Um, you may have seen this at the beginning of Surreal 2 uh, when the guy's at the back of Cobble with an op, it's flashing to the time of the music. Okay, here we'll start. As you can see we've got a little project set up um, with a clip and some audio. And first thing I'm going to do is just uh, put the audio volume down a bit because it's quite loud for this tutorial. You can do this by just dragging this desk wheels down. Try about that. Okay, now I'm just going to let you hear the song so you can get a rough idea of what kind of effect that I'm going to achieve here. Basically, I want it to be in time with every, well, all the drum, the fast drumming at the beginning. Okay, and when the music comes in after the drumming, I want it to be in sync with uh, this op shot that I've got on video here. Okay, now let's take a little look at the video. Okay, as you can see, um, first of all, the audio is very loud as well, so I'm going to turn down this quite a lot. Down to bit there. Okay, and another thing you probably noticed is that the video is playing at half the speed of the audio. So the, vod the audio file is about half the length, roughly, of this video file here. And I want to um, speed this up so it's in time with the actual shooting. And how we can do this is, if you're using Sony Vegas 7.0, you'll first of all need to ungroup the audio and video. And you can do this by cl right clicking on the video, then going to Group and Remove From. This allows us to move the audio and video separately. Now I want to hold, and I want to make this video the same length as this audio file here. And what we do is we hold down Control on the keyboard, and when you hover abo uh, above the right-hand side of the video, it goes into a little wavy line. Just click and drag until it's the same length of the audio, and now now it'll be in time with the actual thing. Okay, and. What I also want to do is I want to just, um, as you can see, the source TV doesn't quite work here. It's got <laughs> the balls disappear when you're in the vents. It's just a bug in the source TV. So I'm just going to cut up to the point of where the bug comes in, which is about there. I can now hit S on the keyboard, which will split this video file into two: one there and one there. And I delete the second half. And I just want to do the same with the audio. So select it. Press S on the keyboard and delete the right hand side. So I've just got this video file with audio here. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to select them both by selecting the video and holding control and also selecting and the audio. This allows me to move both at the same time. And now I'm just going to move it back in in time with the, the audio here. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I want the first bit when he's doing the running into the vents to be in slow motion until it gets to the point of the shot there. So what I want it to do is I want it uh, to split the video up into its separate parts. So I want the first bit to be of the running and then when it actually gets to the shot I want it to go into normal speed there. So I'm going to hit uh, with both the audio and video slides it'll hit S on the keyboard which will split the two. Now uh, I'm going to Drag this back and split these up. Okay, now I've got two two sections here. I can just play this. Okay, we obviously want the video to start flashing when the music comes in. You can see this in the volume wave here. It gets very loud around about this section. So I can use that as a rough guide. Okay, now what we're going to do as we speeded the clip up so it was the same uh, speed as the audio, but now I want to actually slow it down because we don't have enough video really to play with here. And we do this by selecting both the audio and the video by holding down control to select them both. And then holding down control once more, we can make the video longer. 
roughly about this twice the, twice the length. It should be fine. And then delete the audio. It sounds a bit messy when you slow the audio down. It won't sound too great. So I'm gonna play that back. Okay. When the first beat comes in, which is roughly about there, I've just stopped it straight on the bit. Uh, this is when I want the shot to actually come in. So it's a bit of audio syncing uh, as I did in my previous tutorial. So as you can see the video is too long. We need to cut it, uh, shorten it so that we can squeeze this one in, this sh shot to come in at the right time. And what we do is we just hold down control as I've told you, drag it in, and then we can pull these two in here. So I'll play the, the video continuously. Let's try that again. That's absolutely bang on, I think. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, and as I said before, I want this to be flashing on and off. So I want it to be black, then video, black, video, black, video, black, video, very quickly. And the way we can do this, there's actually a number of ways, but the method that I'm going to use is splitting the video up into maybe about 20 bits, 20 short bits. The way we do this is a good idea to use the arrow keys here. You can move along like that. So I'm going to just split the, the first bit into two frames. Press S, press right twice on the uh, arrow keys to move it along. Press S again, which will split the video once again. Twice across again, split. Twice across again, split. Twice across again, oops, split. And just keep doing this, pressing the right arrow twice and then pressing S on the keyboard to split it until you do the full thing. This could take a while, so I'll speed up for you. Okay, that's me split the video up into many parts, as you can see. And because I've not actually deleted anything, it's just going to play the video continuously although it is actually split up into many different video parts. To get the, the black flashing effect, I need to delete every second clip. If you can just look in here, if I delete this one in the middle, it will go black for a split second, if you just see that. So if I delete uh, the next, the second one along, and the second one along, second one along. If I just keep doing that until I get an on-off pattern throughout the full video. So I'm just selecting the video and pressing delete. You get the idea. Okay, and once you've done that, hopefully it should look something like this.